guys. I think this is my first video of 2023. I also think that was the first time I've ever said 2023 out loud. Happy New Year. Today I'm getting my hair done and I think I'm gonna cut it pretty short. Why is it that like every single time I'm like right about to get my hair cut, I'm like, wait, why do I like it? <laughs> but New Year, new me. No, just kidding. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and I just posted something on my TikTok asking you guys your thoughts because so many people are telling me to cut it above my shoulders and I I like the idea, but the idea also terrifies me. I have a couple hours my appointment's at 2 and it's almost 11 right now so I have some time to decide. This is a little before, but I have some fun things that I'm doing I'm getting my hair cut, I have a facial soon so just kind of like new year, new me but also like not intentionally, but just like a little refresh for the new year. I'm excited to take you guys along with me on this but yes, happy new year. <laughs> this is my outfit today. It's very simple, but I really like it. This bodysuit is from Amazon and I saw it on TikTok as a Skims bodysuit and I would honestly say the quality material is comparable. I'll link it down below to Skims, but like it's really soft. It's like that same material. And these are the, like the Levi baggy jeans that I got that I really like. I've worn this outfit before, but I do really like it. It's like a nice little like uniform, basic, simple outfit, but I feel like it still looks pretty. I think I might add some earrings, but that's my outfit for the day. I should close that. Okay, I took a little break from vlogging just during the week of Christmas. I was just like, I'm just gonna enjoy my time and not worry about work. It's like everybody else had the week off. I was like, why not let me take the week off? And I literally feel like I forgot how to vlog. I don't know if you guys are like this as well. If there's some things in your life where when you're doing it, it just comes so naturally to you. You're like in a groove. But the second you take like one day off and you start it again, you're like, how do I do this? Like, what am I doing? And I feel like vlogging is like that for me. Like when I'm doing it, I'm like, it's always on my mind. I'm like, okay, get this for the vlog at this angle this is the last thing i vlog now this is how we're gonna loop it into the like blah, blah, blah. but like when i stop i'm like what do i normally talk about like what huh so welcome to me figuring out how to do my job again normally like after a day or two i'm like i got this but like during that day or two i'm like Right now I am making lunch. I'm making another one of those wraps that I always make. I need to bake the chicken. I know that a lot of people don't like seeing raw chicken. We're gonna kind of keep it out of frame. Raw chicken is a little, you know, it just, it does freak me out a little bit, but not too much, not to the point where I can't cook with it. It does make me like a little bit uncomfortable. I got my seasonings. I am actually so excited for this because this is going to sound like a sponsorship and this is not a sponsorship. No one is sponsoring this. This brand has never heard of me before. I've never worked with them in the past. Don't have anything working with them in the future. Sometimes I say things and I'm like, this sounds like I'm like reading an ad or like this is my sales pitch. This is not a sales pitch. This is just me talking out loud. But I've been getting in such a rut for coming up with recipes recently. I've just been having the hardest time of like thinking of things to make. And then if I think of something, I'm like, well, I don't want to buy this ingredient just to make it one time. Like what if I don't like it? Or like this one ingredient is kind of expensive for only like this one recipe that I can think of to use it. And I was explaining this to my friend and she was like why don't you do hello fresh doesn't that sound like an ad for hello fresh what my chicken is like weird and oh it's freezing anyways i got hello fresh it's coming for next week so this week i don't have it but i'm actually so excited for it because i just have been feeling like i've been in a rut with recipes and it's been making me eat out a lot because nothing that i buy like sounds appetizing or good or like that i want it i'm like very excited for this honestly and again this is not an ad i'm not making any money i literally paid for this box with my own money i did find a coupon code on honey though i'm very excited to try it out my family actually does hello fresh I've never, I don't think. What? I have like raw chicken on. Okay, nope, 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 no. Stop it! This, no, stop it. I am so sorry for what just happened there. That was unexpected. My mom, last year, I gave her a cordless vacuum, like one of those like robot vacuums for Christmas. And she she never really used it. So she was like, do you want it? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I had it for a while, but I hadn't set it up yet. And so yesterday I was like, okay, I'm gonna set it up. I set it up and I couldn't get it to work. And I couldn't figure it out. It's supposed to like detect your house first and like how to get like the layout of the house. And then like connects to your phone. I couldn't get it to connect to my phone. I think cause it's like an older version of the robot. I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. I tried for like an hour and then I was like, whatever, I give up. And 
it just went off like randomly and so i'm sure like that's probably like the schedule my family had it on but like that scared me and then what it does every time it like gets on top of my dining room table base like the base of it on the floor it like gets on that and then it can't get off and it instantly goes to the base of the dining room table every time so then it just is stuck there so that that's what that was so i need to figure that out sometimes i'm feeling too lazy we've all been there as pitbull once said believe me been there done that okay i leave for my hair appointment in about like an hour and a half and i still don't know how short i want to cut it i did google some photos online of girls with their hair length above their shoulders and i honestly I don't know if I like it. This sounds so bad, but I feel like the only reason I would cut my hair above my shoulders is not to disappoint people because I feel like every single time I want to cut my hair, I always ask you guys and you guys are like, cut it here and then I cut it like a little bit longer than that and everyone's like, really? And so like, I don't want to cut my hair to a length that I don't like it just to like, and not that anyone would actually like care, but I just kind of feel like I should like grow up hair and do it. The other part of me is like, I don't think I want to do it. I guess we'll see. Like by the end of this video, we'll find out. I, I still don't know what I'm gonna do. What? 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 I'm a little overwhelmed. I know it's just hair and it's not that big of a deal, but I don't know if anyone else's confidence is like mainly derived from their hair. For me, it is. Like if I have a good hair day, I feel hot for the rest of the day. If my hair is bad, I feel ugly and there's nothing that can fix it. And I've had many mental breakdowns about getting my hair cut lengths that I don't like or like doing it ways that I don't like. And I just, I cannot afford to add to my cry log. I really can't. I've cried so many times this year that like I'm getting embarrassed. So like I just, I can't do it, but we'll see, we'll see. I've been really taking your guys' suggestions with this wrap and I microwaved the tortilla for 15 seconds, which I didn't know you were supposed to do. And it made it so much easier to fold. And I also shredded the chicken when it was warm instead of when it was cold. So thank you guys for making my life easier. Very good. I'm not even hungry, but I know I will be. Went not the salon all day. I should probably chew, give me a second. I'm not hungry, but I know if I don't eat right now before I leave, I'm gonna be miserable getting my hair done. <laughs> so I'll be starving. So meal prepping, not really. It's like meal prepping, but like instead of like prepping the meal, prepping my stomach, I don't know. Mm. I'm here outside the salon. I'm kind of nervous. I think that's her taking a photo. That's so cute. She's taking a photo of her client before me and I can see her. Wow, well, she looks so cute today. But I'm nervous. This is the last time I'll have this long of hair for a minute now. <laughs> Sorry, I turned my I feel like I always realize how blonde I actually am when I'm in here. I have like no concept of what my hair color actually is. <laughs> You're very blonde. Really? So sometimes I see my hair and I'm like, I'm not blonde at all. Like I'm like basically brunette. <laughs> Why is my heart beating? It's not even that much. Like I can definitely go way shorter so than we'll that. Start right we can here, start there. And then yeah. Yeah. Can you feel me shaking? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe I have that much hair. Can I just like throw it on the floor? Is that yeah. rude? No, absolutely. That's what they're for. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like stuck to me. I need like a lint roller. I'm like a dog that sheds. <laughs> so we're doing low lights. Do you want any highlights brought up or no? What do you think? A little wintery ish. Do you want like. I want it to be like. I don't know what the word is. Well, hair. Like darker ish. Uh, yeah. Still blonde, but you know. Yeah, you'll still have like all of this dimensions. Okay. I love you short hair. I do too. Way. I do too. Yeah. Who would have thought for like a full decade I didn't cut my hair? Oh, Okay, you guys, here is the hair. 
So obviously I didn't cut it above my shoulders. I kind of cut it like the very tops, my collarbone. This is the shortest it's ever been since I was 10. I was like fully ready to cut it above my collarbone or like above my shoulders. And I told her, I was like, everyone wants me to do it. I don't know if I want to do it, but I will. And she was like, don't do it. And I trust this woman with my life. I trust her so much. When she told me not to do it, I was like, okay. And I honestly think like, this is plenty short. I keep looking at it and I'm like, it's kind of short. I don't even think I would like that if I'm being honest. Like, I don't think I would have even liked it above my collarbone. Above my shoulder. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even think I wanted to cut it that short. Every Everyone was just telling me to do it so I'm glad that I did what I wanted to do and I really like it and I think that it's plenty short and like I said I don't even think I would like it that short because I, I want some hair like I want to be able to like put in like a ponytail and like be fine and then we cut there's a dog and then we cut like these little pieces a little bit shorter I'm really happy with it we're gonna make some dinner because I'm starving we're gonna make salmon I found this at Trader Joe's I think it's new if it's not new I don't know. This is the salmon rub seasoning. So I'm excited to try this out. It just says lightly brush salmon with oil, coat well with Trader Joe's salmon rub for cooking. So we're gonna try this out today and see how it is. I figured that since it was just like a spice and not like a sauce, we didn't need to marinate it. I mean, we could have, but also I'm starving and I just got home at 6.30 right now. So let's get to cooking. Stunning. I should have done more Brussels sprouts, but look at that. That looks so good. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, my new hair. I really like it. I really like the length. I feel like I look a little bit like older. Do you guys think I look more mature? Okay, let's do a bite. Let's do a bite. There's someone outside my apartment. I hear like children. Why are there children outside my apartment? It tastes like very salmon-y. Like I know that's like obviously it's salmon, but like sometimes when you put certain flavors, like when I do like my chili lime, it tastes like chili lime. When I do like a teriyaki, it tastes very teriyaki. Like this tastes, like I feel like this brings out the salmon-y flavor. It's kind of smoky almost. Do you guys hear that? I like it. I don't know if it would be my everyday like seasoning that I'd put on salmon, but it was very convenient if I didn't have anything on hand. I mean, I would definitely do it again. I just think there's things that I prefer more than this. Let's try a Brussels sprout. Yeah, overall good dinner. Very easy. Took me like five minutes. Good morning, everybody. I am freezing. Styled my hair for the first time, you know, obviously since yesterday. I think that I like it curled more than I like it straight, which is bad because I don't want to put that much heat on my hair. And now that it's like shorter, like I feel like when you have like long hair, you can damage it more than when it's shorter. I don't know. But good morning. I feel like the camera's a little Probably, I think that like just made it crooked in a different way. I actually have a facial tonight. So I was supposed to have a facial tomorrow. The girl that was doing my facial got stuck because like the snowstorm and everything. So someone else is doing a facial for me at like 7 p.m. tonight, which I'm like kind of excited about like a nighttime facial. So you guys have been seeing my whole like skin journey throughout this past year. I went on Accutane 2020, 2021. Worked really great for me. And then my skin started freaking out again. And I tried the dermatologist route and I tried like some topicals and stuff and it worked for a minute and then it stopped working every single time now that I use that topical my skin peels it breaks out and I find that my skin is so much better when I don't use it so I stopped using it and I just thought you know maybe the dermatologist route might not be for me right now let's try the esthetician route and we're just gonna see like I'm just gonna try a bunch of things not a bunch of things but like try things for a good amount of time feel them out see how they go so I'm really excited about this I like want this to be like a consistent thing also I really like putting my hair in a ponytail now because like these little pieces are so cute i'm so happy with my hair but i have some hauls for you guys <laughs> first one is from amazon i actually got some clothes on black friday and they were just now delivered they're in my closet and i will do like a little try on for you guys because i haven't tried them on yet however i did just eat lunch and i'm like i'm not i'm not feeling trying on a bunch of clothes right now did i tell you guys what i've done already today i filmed my 2023 reset video and then i've been editing it i've been rough cutting it and then i need to like go in and like edit it some more but i'm taking like a little break anyways Back. Like this is so scatterbrained. Back to the hall. 
Oh gosh, so I've gotten to a point in my life where I am now buying deodorant on Amazon. Um, I just did not want to drive to Target. Like the parking lots and like the traffic this time of the year. And in Arizona, we have snowbird season. If you don't know what that is, that's when all the old people migrate to like warmer climates. Just like birds, but they're old people and they drive so slow. It just makes getting around anywhere really frustrating. And I ran out of deodorant. I've never tried this deodorant, but now I have one, two, three, I have six. I have six of them. I hope I like it. I have, I'm not wearing deodorant today, I think. So this is the degree clean shower. Please tell me I'm not supposed to put this on the shower. I don't know. I need a deodorant. This was actually like decently. I don't know if this was cheap, but I thought I'd stock up. I just really hope I like this. I probably should have. It's not opening. Also, I worked out this morning and I ran over my middle finger with a 100 pound weight. <laughs> and so my finger is still throbbing. I don't think it's broken or anything, but it definitely... It definitely still hurt. Can I use tweezers? Nope. Oh, is that working? Mm -hmm. Did that do something? Nope. God, I just really want my deodorant. Oh, okay. We made progress. This is like not the safest thing that I'm doing right now. Ah! Okay, it smells decent. So I hope this worked, <laughs> but I need a deodorant. So now I'm stonked up. The last thing that I got from Amazon, I got a new book. My friend Sky is one that got me into reading a decent amount of books this year, considering that I never read before. And she told me to read The Silent Patient. And funny enough, a lot of you guys recommended this book to me on my TikTok yesterday. So follow me on TikTok if you're not already. I'm so excited to read this. I have no, what? Disturbing. The New York Times said this is disturbing. Great. Um, she said this is really good and like I said a lot of you guys recommended it So I'll link this book down below. I personally like reading like paper copy books I tried reading a Kindle and I just I just don't like it Maybe one day I'll be like I'm tired of the the paper books and like they're taking up too much space But I don't know. I really I'm really excited to read this so I will start please don't spoil it for me Please don't. I'm excited to read it. Okay, it's been a couple hours. I thought we would do our little try and haul. This video is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own money. I realized that I only got bodysuits. <laughs> but honestly, like, I like the way bodysuits look on me. Like, it's a silhouette that I'm, like, feeling very comfortable in. Who cares? I love a bodysuit. So we're gonna try them all on. They're all from Pretty Little Thing. Like I said, I got them on Black Friday. I've never shopped at Pretty Little Thing, so I have no idea if these are gonna look good or what, but we're gonna try them on. <laughs> Not obsessed. This is very see-through, and this is, like, very low-cut. Like, this is... I don't think I would ever wear this. <laughs> this is the next one. It's, like, a little bit fancier. I like it. Like, this would be really cute, like, you know, dressed up. I am afraid that, like, this is gonna fall down. It just gives me that vibe. Also, if you have a long torso, run from this one because i have a very short torso and this is like flossing me <laughs> i wouldn't recommend this one if you have a long torso but i think it's like really pretty it's like more fancy you know like imagine it's like cool fancy pants <laughs> like a skirt mm. so is it like i told you they're all very simple bodysuits i thought this one was fun because of this but this is like not very structurally strong so i just feel like this is gonna like fall like it's already like falling down also i don't like like where this like hits i wish it kind of was like a little bit further out almost i don't know like i feel like the everything's kind of flopping so far like i'm not obsessed <sighs> at least i got it on black friday but like i don't know like i like the idea i don't like the execution i saw this one and i was like it's giving meredith blake like with like the white and black i just feel like it's like very parent trap meredith blake so far i like this one the most but i also looked in the mirror and it kind of like this cut neckline of it it's kind of giving like I'm in a high school swim team and I'm about to like go on my meet. Go to my meet? I, I didn't swim. But like this looks like the Speedo brand one piece swimwear. Like I feel like I need like a swim cap and some goggles and I'm ready to go. But so far I do like this one the most. I should, like cut of these are weird. I had this realization that I bought this bodysuit in three colors. It's a good thing that I like it. This is a little high on my neckline. It's like a little, it's like, you know when something's like touching right at your neck and you're like, but I like it so far. I mean, that's good that I bought in three different colors. Or at least it was this one that I bought in three different colors. I feel like I'm being overly critical because I didn't like the first one so now I'm like but also this does kind of feel like it's choking I feel like I'm being overly critical because of that what do we think about this one I was really excited for it and I like it when I like adjust it but I feel like these sleeves keep like coming out so I don't know if I like that but here's the back that's cute right I'm 50 50 on this one I don't think that I can return any of these so do we like this one 
I mean, regardless, I'm gonna wear all these because I paid for them. I just, maybe if I just like keep adjusting it, it will be better. I like, um, well, I don't know. Mm, that looks bad. This is kind of a weird one because I didn't realize that black could be see-through. Like probably from here you can't see it, but like it's one of those materials that you can definitely see like my flesh color under it, but it has this, which I didn't realize because I accidentally bought a shirt from Target that looks exactly like this. It's very soft though. And like you can't really wear a bra with it because like this kind of goes so far over like you would see your bra strap. I'm just wearing like a pasty or something, but I mean, I like it. This is the green one of the orange bodysuit. Somehow this one feels like it's choking me even more. I'm like really finding issues with everything that I bought. So I don't know if I would buy from this place again. It was Black Friday. That was like really the only reason I did because it was like great deals. But like, I feel it. Like my neck ends here. Like it's like, it's kind of, I also got a black one, but like I just did not feel like trying it on. I think that really was kind of like a final straw, like a lesson of like buying quality over quantity or like over good deals. I'm going to take my makeup off my facial is not for another couple hours but i just like i just don't feel like having makeup on right now but i definitely think i would rather spend a little bit more money and get less pieces that fit me well and that make me feel confident rather than a lot of pieces that i don't know how often i'll wear because they are kind of fit weird using the clinique take the day off balm i look crazy I feel like I've changed my outfit like 20,000 times today. I'm wearing the same bodysuit from yesterday. This is in fact from my try on haul. <laughs> and then these like sweatpants from Princess Polly, but I'm about to go to my facial. It's like a 7 p.m. facial, like I said. I'm really excited. I will definitely not vlog while I'm there because I don't think you're allowed to do that, but I'll show you guys my skin when it's over. See you then. I'm back. Obviously my skin looks a little crazy right now. We did extractions. This was like my very first facial with her. So like I had a lot of like congestion in my face. The place that I went to is called the skin routine one of the girls that goes to the gym that I go to owns it and she's like the nicest human being ever so we did like a lot of stuff we like dermaplane my face we did like one of those like jelly masks like it was over your lips and eyes we did like a, a LED light thing like it was just like a bunch of really great and so obviously we did some extractions so that's why my skin looks like this but like it's not gonna always look like that and then this is the cute little bag I wanted to get some new products that she recommended me like I always trust an esthetician these are the products that I got so this is the skin better science cleansing gel is clinical shield recovery balm this is the cbd micro silver miracle and then this is a sunscreen this is the color science sunscreen so i got these for products her stuff is so good so i genuinely do trust her so yeah this is the end of the vlog i'm about to go to bed new year new me new skin new hair, new clothes that I kind of don't like, but that's okay. I'm still gonna wear them because I paid for them, but I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Happy 2023. Mwah.